Hey there. I am going to do a quick, hopefully a quick video on um, this new uh, journal that I just finished. I'm going to add this, I'm thinking I'm going to add this into the journal, um, but not sure yet. We'll figure that out. But anyway, here is the journal. Um, it is, I think it's a standard size. Let's see. Four, well, you know, without all the trims and stuff, it's like four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So that should fit in, if you have like a traveler's notebook, I'm trying to see where, where mine is, but I can't find it right now. So anyway, it should fit in there. I have added, I uh, just tied it off with this. Um, sorry, uh, silk ribbon, and it uh, has um, some papers here, and this is an original image of this larch fairy on the cover, and it's been sewn on uh, with um, some seam binding, just kind of uh, little bits and pieces here and there, and this has been made into a pocket. Um, I also put this... Um, beautiful um, glass bead um, kind of just put those beads together made a little uh, jump ring here tw twisted it up and put it on this garment pin so I attached it uh, to this tab that goes in here so it's a nice big tab you can put your name on it um, you know something special on there and it fits nice and neat in here so i want to make sure i'm in frame because um the the tripod i don't know i was having trouble with the the tripod but um okay so it is has all these little bits and pieces hanging out um it's got this right here i hope you can see that it's little birdies with some sequins that i hand sewed on here and some beads. I'll show you how that's attached later. It's got tabs, um, all kinds of little fluffy bits. And then I also made this little bead um, charm or a dangle and uh, added some real. This is a, a, a turquoise bead um, and then some other beads that I had. And I attached that to one of the fabric tabs um, with a little garment pin as well so it's got all kinds of little fluffy bits so anyway let's get into it um it just like i said it ties around and let's see so here's the inside um i did a, a library pocket i um put some lace trim here it's this really beautiful like bronze looking lace trim and uh, this is a stamp it almost looks like the little fairy wing I thought that was just so cute and um, like I said a um, library card that you could put anything there with some um, seam binding that I um, stained so that goes in there this right here I'm not sure where to put it I did put a pin on there I was going to attach it up here to the top. I'm going to leave that to whoever um, purchases um, this. I, I do want to include it in there. I hand stitched all of this myself um, and then uh, sewed uh, this ribbon on as well. Um, so I will leave that. I was going to put it here on the cover, but then it, it covered up this. So I'm not sure. I think it looks beautiful here as well. So I will leave it to whoever purchases this. This took me a while to hand sew, by the way, but it was fun and I think it's just so gorgeous and I love how when you close it, you, you could attach it as a tab um, to your journal, wherever you decide. And, does, and doesn't it just like match all this? I don't know, it's just so cute. So here is another original, um, uh, fairy image from the book that I have and I just cut it out and sewed it on here and 
and sewed um, some sequins on here as well. Um, I bagged it so you could journal on here or if you want, I was thinking you could use this if you want to make your own cover, right? You can use this as a cover to your own journal. And um, I think that would look so cute. So um, anyway, this is from the digital kit that I purchased. Uh, I forget who it is. It's Cool Mom. Um, but I will put the link uh, to this. I saw it on another video. I think her name is Lana. And I just fell in love with it as well. So um, I used the digital kit. Um, like I said, I can't remember the name of it. I'll post it below. Um, so I uh, sewed some fabric here, put a little sequence trim, and um, I think it's just so gorgeous. And like I said, I attached this here with a little seam binding paper clip. Tea stained. Uh, these papers in here have either been um, tea stained or coffee stained. And here is a page from another digital kit that I had purchased a while back. And it's printed on both sides. And then I just attached some washing tape. I stained this and it's got those, I just love this. Um, I stamped um, some script stamp here, attached a fabric, a little tab with a little bit of bling. Isn't that cute? Nice journaling spot. This right here is a pocket. And this right here, this is the song of the Thrift Fairy. And this goes with where is the thrift fairy? Oh, I think she's in another. There is another. Is this the thrift fairy? This is the thrift fairy, I think. Oh, no, no. There's another one. There's another one. So this goes with another little fairy image that I have. So I made this into like a little journaling card. And then here's a little journaling card that also came in that in this paper pack. So this is the paper pack. Isn't it pretty? Um, so there's that. Here is um, some tea stained paper with um, fabric ruffle. I love this right here. This is um, the other side of that paper that came from the pack that I purchased. Here's another little journaling card that I attached to this music um, sheet that I have. This is such a cute music book, and I don't remember the date on this, but it is vintage, so I included it in here. I love the little illustrations. I think it's just so cute. Um, so I attached this card here with this paper clip and this lace. Here is another little page from um, the paper pack that I got. It's not a paper pack, it's a digital thing, right? So I made it into one of those foldable envelopes, and it's been tea stained. And it's just so, it's pretty. And then I added um, some more of this ribbon and then some bling. So it's, uh, that's all been sewn together. So I thought that was cute. And see, here's the other side of this um, music page. So that goes there. Here's this, which are pretty, I love this. Oh, it's called, I think it's Wisteria, Wisteria and Roses or something like that. I love this, this paper is just so pretty. I attached a fabric tab with some sequins. Um, I also hand sewed um, these sequins on top of here. Um, tea stained paper, put a little stamping here, some hearts, I just love that. Here is um, some paper that I printed out. I just love these colors, I think they're so pretty. Here's an envelope or, um, or a paper, a bag that I, you know, it's on both sides. So you can put anything you want in there. Maybe put this in there, fold it in there, I'm not sure. Um, Tea stained paper, I did the little edge punch, some script stamping, some more washi tape, and um, this is uh, from the pack that I purchased. I thought this was so cute. I made this into a little journaling card. I stitched around here, and it is from a magazine that I had purchased, and I just love the paper because it's nice and thick, and it's just two little puppies. That's a puppy that I used to have. Her name was Cookie, but she... She kind of, she got out of the fence and then she's so tiny. She was like this big, seriously. She was a little tiny thing. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure somebody took her. So anyway, um, and then I just thought it was pretty. So I just attached this on here cause I thought, 
there's lots of little puppy and doggy lovers out there. Um, and then this has a little, another ribbon, uh, little thing here on the paper clip. Um, this is ledger paper and here is another, um, digital print that I purchased from somewhere and, uh, included it in here, put a little more stamping. Here is, um, this music sheet. This comes from a book, copyright 1958. It is a super old book. Um, I love the pages in it and I wanted to include that in here. I sewed um, a little lace pocket with some fabric and included uh, this big tag here and this cute little image. This comes in that um, Wisteria Roses collection. Here's this paper, it's so pretty. Fabric tab. Um, here is a, like an envelope. It's super old. It's a printout that I had uh, purchased and I just made it into a journaling card. Um, here's this real pretty um, uh, paper, patterned paper that I uh, coffee stained. And um, I just thought this was so pretty as well. And then I sewed a ruffle, made a pocket over here in the back with another little journaling card. And um, this right here is the middle of the book. But I just, I saw this quote in that magazine and I love this, like I said, this paper. It's a nice thick paper. It says, love fiercely, forgive quickly, let go of what doesn't make you happy. I just thought that was so pretty. So that's been put on there. This is the middle of the book. I put this on here just because I, I don't know, I just like it. I just think it adds something to it. So you could put photos here, whatever you want. And I attached, I, um, I hope made a punch and attached it here with a garment pin. Um, it's just a little um, a thing that I made on canvas um, fabric. And I sewed on the sequence and some beads and then stamped those little birds. These are like my favorite birds. I use these all the time. So I stamped that on there. And I like this page because it says like dream big, be brave, grateful, make it happen, believe, keep your chin up, stay positive. I just thought this was so pretty. So anyway, that was in here. Um, here is um, just a little envelope thing that I made um, out of uh, one of those papers. So here's this paper here, and it's, I like it because it's lined. It looks like graph, but it has all these digital um, roses and flowers on here. This is the other side of that paper, and it folds out, so you have lots of room to put photos or journal on here. Um, here is a page uh, that has this little lace tip in. I just think this is so pretty. I'm running out of this fabric. I need to buy more. And then here's the second, and then I just put this gold washi that it was so pretty. I was gonna put that. Oh no no, here's not. Um, there's this pretty paper with roses or like ivory roses on there. More of this uh, this book page. Um, I made had made this right into a pocket on this side, and I just included this um, receipt. It's a vintage receipt. Um, but it's it's something that I printed out and just kind of, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, distressed it a little bit. So I thought this was cute to put in here. You could journal, um, use it for decoupage or whatever. Um, the ledger paper. Oh, here is the, the thrift, the other fairy. And that goes with this one here, right? The thrift fairy. So this is the song about the Thrift Fairy. This is an original image as well. And I just sewed it and I did leave this top open so you could use this as a little pocket or anything you want. And so I clipped that on here. And this just folds out. Um, I tried some staining on the pages. I think this came out pretty. It's that pink. So I just like the way that came through. Here's the other side of the bag. Um, I made this glassine bag or envelope. Um, well, first this page here I printed out and then I put this real pretty lace. This is the ivory color and then this is that bronze color that I love that I also included in that front page. 
Um, but I made this bag, so it has some script stamping, some of those, more of those, um, like leaf stamp looking things. And I colored these with, um, some Copic markers and then put, um, this B on here as well. So it is just a little envelope and it's got this little to-do list and a real pretty, um, playing card with a little bird. I just thought that was cute. So I just stuck those in here just as little extra little tidbits stuff. So that goes there. And here's more of that paper on this side. Here is a little printout of a, um, a little book page. Um, uh, see the dog and the cat, see the boy and the girl. I just thought this was so pretty. So this is early early school learning materials and um, so I just put that in here with this this is a little eyelash trim I think it's so cute just more of that digital paper here is the other side of that book page and I attached more of this bronze lace on top as a little tab just more of that paper I think it's so pretty I made a little pocket here and this is a tiny little um, what is it like a manila folder and I just put these two tags in here this one I stamped Thought that was cute and then this one says love 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 and it's been tea stained so I thought those were cute to include in here in this little pocket and they fit nice and snug in there here's more of that paper it's so pretty um, and I have included this I love this leaf I think it's so pretty it's like a maple leaf paper clip um but this is a tiny a little love note and um I printed it out it's all been all it's been distressed and all that good stuff and here's the letter inside I've used this before and I probably will use it in every single journal that I make but I just think it's so cute so it's been coffee stained and all that good stuff I think it's so pretty it's always so cute to have so I just um, put it on here with this leaf clip and this has also been stained with that pink dye made another pocket here this is the lace tab that I put that has this um, little bee dangle so cute um, that is paper that you've seen before that goes that's in the middle of the signature over here and this is an old um, receipt that I, uh, what do you call it? Distressed. I keep forgetting that word. Distressed. And it is a receipt from June 4th, 1914. Um, it says, um, payable in U.S. gold coin. Isn't that so cool? And this is for the patent Mary Jane shoes. You know, remember those shoes, the Mary Janes? And look, $1.51. Postage was six cents. I think that's so cool. So anyway, I just included that in here. And I put clip these two little coffee stained receipts because I just think these receipts are so fun and they can be used in anything. And I put a little, um, some washi there and that you can flip open and uh, journal in there. This right here, I think I'm getting like way far out of the screen, I'm not really sure. I clipped this on here and um, it's an envelope that I made isn't that so cute it looks like a little fairy house this though looks like um, like a Santa hat but I don't care it has the heart it has love it doesn't say anything about Christmas it's just it just looks like a little elf hat or something a little fairy hat so that is a cute little stamp that I found and um, inside, I just put um, a page from a children's book that's been tea stained. I thought this was so cute. So that goes in there. That's so cute. I love that stamp. When I found it, I was like, okay, I just have to have it. Um, and then here's the back. Um, this is another printout um, that I just distressed just a little bit. And this is for fairy soap for five cents. So I thought this was so cute. Since it does have fairies, I'm like, let's put this in here. And I was going to put this right here. Maybe I can clip it here or something. 
it'll stay. Um, so you can use this to decoupage. I just think this is so pretty. So I want to include that in there as a little gift as well. And we cannot forget this. Like I said, I have put it here for now. Um, but it can go anywhere. You can stick this anywhere. I just think it's so cute and fun and sparkly and it just adds to the whole journal. So anyway, I am going to list this in my shop, um, in the Etsy shop. I'm thinking today or tomorrow, so um, just you can look for it out there. It's nice and it has a bunch of stuff in there, but you can remove you know, most of the things that I included in here or just keep them in there and um, just journal away and have fun with it. Um, so that is the Larch Fairy Journal, and I hope you enjoyed it, and leave me some comments if you did like it, or if you have any questions, or if you do want me to make some changes, but, um, I just love making this kind of stuff, and look, I also did this, I was getting fancy with this, these sequins, right? Oh, and then this too, I started doing this one, and then I saw that it kind of ended up looking like a heart. So I'm going to make this into some kind of tab. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to put a little tab here. Isn't that cute? It kind of matches with this, doesn't it? I don't know. I need to make another journal then and include this. But this took me a while. I, I did each bead like individually. Uh, some I did do like two in one uh, stitch. But... For the most part, each bead is done one by one. And I added some fibers on the bottom, some little tiny sequins, so you can barely see maybe, I don't know if you can see those, and then larger sequins with beads in the middle. And then there is some seam binding fabric under here, and it's all been sewn on this, um, this wool felt, which I just love. So that is that, that is the fairy book and um, that's it. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you guys later. All right. Bye.